Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Enjoying the Artist Within Us All. Today we have James, a very talented guitar player. We're going to ask him some questions here. So the first one is, why did you cut your hair? Just needed a change in style. But it was so long, flowing, and beautiful. Can we, can we get a picture of James' hair up in here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you believe this? How great this guy looked and he cut his hair down. But I mean, it's already growing back pretty quick. All right, so that's a good enough answer, I guess, to all his own. Okay, so how long have you been playing guitar for? Since I was 13, so that's six years around that time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when did you find that you felt really comfortable to call yourself a professional? Not until recently, really, like the past year or two. You know, I've been getting more comfortable playing in front of people. Uh, actually trying to put my music out there. You know. <laughs> Excellent. So are there any other instruments that you delve into? Uh, I'm pretty much self-taught, so not skilled in most instruments, but uh, piano and bass and a little bit of drums. So you really are a musical talent. I like to think so. That's great, especially <laughs> when you're self-teaching yourself. That's yeah. wonderful. So, um, what is your favorite genre to play? You know, rock and roll, a little bit of blues, mo mostly those two things. You know. They like to go hand in hand. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to what you're going to play for us. So, you play electric and acoustic guitar? Yeah. What do you prefer? I prefer electric. I like the, the loudness and the feel of electric, but acoustic can be appropriate for some other things. Absolutely, too. That's great, but I mean, yeah. it's cool that you have a mixture of both. Yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> so, is there any artists that, especially guitarists, that inspire you or that you might mimic their their approach? Yeah. Uh, that's a tough one. Because it varies a lot. Uh, you know, some days... I'm feeling David Gilmore. Other days I'm feeling Clapton. And I don't know. It really jumps around a lot with it. But you really do try to emulate these great guitar heroes. Yeah. Because uh, for the most part, uh, I don't try to be a guitar hero exactly. I really like shaping myself as a musician as a whole. Yeah, that's uh, awesome in your own way, strengthening yourselves in different corners. Yeah, and something I'd love to do is to definitely get other people, you know, people that are better players than I am, because, you know, there's plenty of them out there. And if I get them, then, hell, I'm going to try as hard as I can to get a hold of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So that actually brings us into our next question. Um, have you ever thought about forming a band? Oh, I've definitely thought about it. Uh... Yeah. I would love to. It would be so great to especially play in front of people. That's something I'm, I've been craving to do. What's holding you back? I don't know. I guess it's fear mostly. Fear of uh, some sort of rejection from an audience. Well, even the greats sucked. Remember Zeppelin? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what their name was before, but they wouldn't be called Led Zeppelin unless... Some dude told them that they're going to sink quicker than a Led Zeppelin, which, I mean, yeah. actually has been told to be false. But it's a great story. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a great story. It's iconic. Yeah, so speaking of these great artists, who who's your favorite or some of your favorites? Someone I look up to the most is probably Paul McCartney. Because he's Underrated. Just... I think so. I think yeah. so. I think a lot of people look at him and they're like, oh, the Beatles, Supergroup, whatever, but yeah. he really is a good guitarist. Yeah, because he's such an amazing overall performer and songwriter. Absolutely. I, just, I absolutely love that. I, I hope one day people uh, you know, ask, who's better, Paul McCartney or James Gould? I don't know. So, <laughs> do you write your own music? I try to, yeah. Cool. Well, what are you going to be playing for us today? Something? Are you going to play something off the top of your head? Or are you going to play something that you've written? Or something that you've practiced from another artist? Oh, well, I actually have a song that I wrote myself. It was, awesome. Uh, I think it's, it's alright. 
Cool. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Is there anything else you want to add before we get into the music? Uh, just hope you like it. Cool. All right, everybody. This was James. We're going to get into the music. Thank you. This video brought to you by Genesee Bach Beer. Please sponsor me. Genesee Bach Beer. have one more question for you yeah should people have to retake their driver's test every 10 years no because i don't want to do it so no one else should have to you heard it from the man himself anything else to add james thank you thank you thank you so much 
And thank you, everybody. This has been another episode of Appreciating the Artist in Us All, sponsored by Jenny Bach. Please sponsor me, Jenny Bach. Drink it. It's good. Yee. It's good.